guys, welcome back to another video. It's just a vlog today and I'm very excited because I am now uh, the proud mama of two little girl ferrets. I'll just quickly show you them because they're wanting to get out so I need to set the, ca the cage up for them. This is a cage. I've just, we've literally just brought them in now so I'm going to quickly set it up so that we can get them out. They're so cute. Hi, this is me. Um, so we are currently yeah, setting up the um, oh, ferret um, cage. Well, oh. my Auntie Helen has come to say hello. No, and this is my part of the vlogging. Yeah. Um, no, oh, also my cage. nan saw them and she doesn't really like them. So we're going to have to try and figure that out. But I'm now back now. This is my right, part I'm of the vlogging. Go. I was just going to say to your mum, I'm, I'm going up with Angela. We're going up to Kingsley because she's going for a prescription. Does she want to come back? Hi Auntie Helen. I'll give it a shout. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> okay, so they've just had a run about and I've just been like sorting everything out. I've managed to set the cage up a little bit now for them. Um but I need to bring the dogs back round. So it's not finished, but this is how like it's got everything they need apart from ignore that tiny little corner litter tray. I've got a bigger one coming in a few hours, so I'm just waiting for that. <laughs> but they're so beautiful they've got a little bed and their water and some food and yeah i'm going to order like a hammocky kind of thing to hang down here and loads more blankets and stuff for them but they're loving it they were drinking out of the dog water bowl Ooh. hi guys so it's the next day now i've kind of i'll show you what the cage is looking like right now i've literally just got this hammock up here and I've got some more, I've got another one similar to that and then like a tubey one to put in. I'm just kind of deciding where to put things. Delia's just in her bed and um, Luna is very inquisitive so she's having a little look about. She seems to quite like that hammock. So I'm just kind of trying to decide where to put things. Jasmine is an absolute nightmare. She's going to be so difficult with the ferrets. Lola is totally fine. Like, she's just chill. <laughs> she's not really that bothered. She's just... Look, look, look. So Luna loves that top one at the minute. I'm just trying to figure out where to, like, put the different bits and how to make it just better for them, really. Also got that big litter tray there now, which is fine, and they do seem to be using it. When they're out, they kind of just find somewhere to go to the toilet but when they're in the cage they are just using the litter tray which is really really good so yeah i'm just kind of doing a little bit of designing of the cage at the minute oh luna loves it up there she's so freaking cute so we're trying to get jasmine used to the babies and she's very very excited she has just done really well actually and just had a nice little gentle snip. Don't you bite me, little monkey. Lola seems to be fine. Jasmine's just very excited, but I think she will get used to them. No, Luna, no! Oh, she's gone, little monkey. Oh, steady, Lola, steady. Don't scare her. Lola. Lola. <laughs> Lola's getting a bit excited now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Go get Luna. <laughs> Did you sis? Diddy. No, Diddy, no. This is really hard work, guys. Oh, she's gone under there. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> there she is. Oh, oh, there she is. 
Go up there for now. Let's let Lulu out for a little bit. Sleepy girl. Sleepy girl. Now she did go to the toilet like not long ago, like 15 minutes ago. So I'm hoping that she's going to be a good girl. <laughs> but we will see. So Luna's a lot smaller than Dee Dee, which just means that you have to kind of be extra careful with her because um, she can get into put, you know, even smaller places than Dee Dee can but she's having fun I'm kind of just leaving them to explore a little bit today they're not really necessarily in a playful like wanting to play mood but just like wanting to explore everything but now Dee Dee's like this and it makes me feel so bad but yeah just letting them have a bit of exploring just a little bit a few times a day and then once they're more used to it they can come out together and for longer what are you doing lulu what are you doing <laughs> Where are you going, you funny girl? No, not in the plant. No. No, no, no. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I just love them so much. I've just given them this kitchen roll tube and they love it. They literally have just been playing with it for the past like 10 minutes. Luna keeps getting inside it and her head pops out the other side but she can't quite get herself all the way through it. That's so funny. I mean, we buy all these expensive things for them and they just want the cardboard tube. Lulu! Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh, look, she's going, she's going, she's going. She can't get all the way through it. So cute. <laughs> you do. So the ferrets now are actually kind of, they've got used to being here a bit more and they're actually playing now more which is so good so I've just let them out for a little bit before I go to bed and Jasmine's whinging <laughs> they're so cute so we've just introduced Lola we're trying to slowly get them used to each other Jasmine's really bad and she keeps like n like nipping at them so she gets put every time she does it she just gets put away um, but Lola's really giddy and wants to play, which is so cute. They like going under there. Luna, um, Dee Dee has got herself under there. They are, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I love them so much. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, nicely. Luna's a bit more scared. Dee Dee's a bit more chilled out. I don't know if that's because she's Angora, because I haven't quite figured this out yet. But um, Dee Dee is an Angora ferret. Nicely. Lola. Lola, calm. Lola, calm. See, she's not that bothered, is she? 
Lola! So she's just trying to... I know she just wants to play, but I, I, once they get used to her, they'll be all right and they'll want to play as well. But obviously at the moment, I mean, they're not used to dogs at all, so it's all very new to them. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? You baby. So Dan brought this little random bed thing. And we filled it with like peanuts and stuff. And they love it. Love it. <laughs> Hi, you gorgeous. Hi, you baby. Didi's really gentle. Like she just, you just saw her like grab me with her teeth then. But it was so gentle. Like I know for so much. <laughs> Hi. Can't really see. It's got good low light, but maybe not quite that good. So it is a few days later, guys, but I thought I would just end this video. Um, we've just got up, so this is Luna. I haven't actually introduced you to them. This is Luna, and she's named after the moon, obviously. And then um, the bigger, darker one is Cordelia. <laughs> Let me just see if I can get a quick clip of her. Oh, I didn't want to wake you up, baby girl. There we go. And that's, yeah, that's Cordelia. And that means daughter of the sea, which, you know, I'm obsessed with the sea now. I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. But yeah, I just wanted to end the video and say thank you for watching. This was literally just a quick introduction of... I now have ferrets and here they are. Uh, this is just what the cage is like now. Still... Just me no. Got some more toys coming today, so I'm gonna keep vlogging with them. So you will be seeing these little beauties. But thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're interested in seeing more ferret videos, then yeah, just leave me some comments down below. Thank you. I love you guys so much, and bye.